finally gave up on Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I heart forsaking. It took this long for him to give up is my real question. Uh, it's true. Finally, <laughs> no, finally. Welcome back to X-Play. We've got a sequel to one of the few playable real-time strategy games on any of the consoles. And it's full of the cutest little critters around. Here's our view of Pikmin 2. Ooh. They're back! <laughs> what do you get when you cross a carrot with a gaggle of giggling gerbils trashed on the contents of your parents' liquor cabinet? Well, it just might be a bunch of Pikmin. They're colorful, ridiculously loyal, hardworking, easy dying, and prone to gregarious gathering. Pikmin 2 for the Cube revisits that plastic, fantastic place in all of us. And this time around, there's no game-imposed clock ticking. Gone is the offending 30-day time limit that kept you from kicking back and killing time with your tiny tribe of cloned carrot people. I love when they struggle. Work, you wee bastards, work! No thimble of grog unless it's mingled with the sweat of your limbs and the dust of your bones. Your tender tribe of laboring Lilliputians are capped at 100, so strategic management is essential. A variety of Pikmin species are crucial to progress, so it's up to you to monitor their survival. Your partnership of pugnacious pipsqueaks are complemented this time around with two new species, the poison-devouring Speedy White and our favorite, the purple Sumo Pikmin. This LRD, short for Little Round Dude, thumps villains with his carb-infested booty luggage quicker than a stoner eats pizza. His rotund swagger can make him the wrong man for the job when speed is of the essence. The LSD, or Little Slim Dude, flies around at incredible speed, digs up buried bling, and goes where no Pikmin before him could go before. Mostly to poison-infested gates and traps. This time around, you can also play as Louie. Split the lads up and send them off to accomplish separate objectives. This can save time, effort, and most importantly, Pikmin. Oh. The background story is simple. Your company needs to get out of debt, and it's up to you to return to the planet of Pikmin and pick up enough crap to accomplish the $10,000 task. There's loads more detritus laying around this time, along with combinable treasures for functional use. <laughs> Knock it off, you're driving me crazy! That's better. Sometimes it's the only way to shut a Pikmin up. Of course, special Pikmin are hard to find, so try not to get the little fellers killed off as a form of birth control. Most Pikmin don't like water, or poison, or lasers, or dying. Who really does at the end of the day? Some downsides are that the graphics haven't been improved much, and the title is still bereft of any decent cinematics and developed story. But with friends like these, who needs the movies? We give it a four out of five. You know, I wish I had a devoted army of tiny people who follow me around carrying out my every command. What about the interns? You have interns. Okay, well, I want a devoted army of tiny people who don't sue me all the time. Uh...